Yourself, man. If you wanted to build a prototype, he'd be your guy. He weighs 225 pounds. He's all fast twitch, whistle ready, power and technique combination. He's tough, skilled off the ground. I love his balance in traffic. He is the possession king for the Atlas. And when he gets the rock, it's going to Jeff Teat. You know, there's athletes that just look like they're playing at a different speed, kind of like Wayne Gretzky in hockey. Jeff Teat is always in control. His ability to distribute the ball, his vision is off the charts. And he's got a flair for the dramatic in, in the first round at number one and number three overall. We'll see how they match up today. And Quint Petey LaSala took more faceoffs than any player in the history of Division I. A rookie out of Virginia, had a storied career. Uh, he gets about as big of a test you can get at this level of Trevor Baptiste today. Welcome to the big time. This is equivalent of a title bout in your second professional fight. Okay, yeah, yeah. Atlas in the Carolina blue, in the white jerseys, whip snakes. Ow. And Baptiste, the reigning MVP, controls the opening faceoff. Normally, you have 52 seconds when you... Goal for Brendan Curry. He had a goal last week. And that face-off awarded to Whipsnakes and Petey LaSala. That's big, especially with the Atlas on the power play. You mentioned, Ryan, Baptiste can stay on. Obviously, you're down a man, but... Oh, LaSala gives you that option, too. A triple team near the end line. Petey's got Turn it. Turn him! Turn LaSala not a big guy, but strong as a Tasmanian devil. Time to pump the goalie. I think he was thinking dip and dunk up high, but the goalie Bernlar took away high, so he just shot it down low. Now, LaSala wins the faceoff. Again, condensed shot clock off a faceoff win. Grew up in uh, western New York. Creator's game goes back centuries in this country, the origins of lacrosse with the Native Americans. It was an indigenous game. Oh. The indigenous people believed it was a gift from the creator. In lacrosse, you often hear the term medicine game, a game that can be used for healing. Costabile missed the cage wide. Dead Playoffs, every game available on ESPN Plus. If you're a lacrosse fan, go get ESPN Plus. You can watch every game. We have a number of ABC, ESPN, ESPN2 windows as well. And those highlights were for day one. One day. <laughs> the processing speed, the artistry, and the style. This sport allows you to create your own style. Here's Michael Earhart, whips on the long range shot. Earhart, the long stick midfielder of the year in the PLL. Talk about, as a pro, being accountable. These guys have been playing this game for a long time, Anish, they, they know, you don't have to tell them, hey, Anish had a bad game. Like, they know, they're the first guy that knows, and he wants to make a difference this week in, in his energy level. Rambo, two-time PLL scoring champion. Here's Baptiste. Now Jeff T. And he puts it right on the money. Will Manny, a decorated college career at UMass. Spent the last four seasons with the Archers. Came to Whipsnakes in free agency, and he has been uh, one of the most prolific pro players in the last 10, 15 years. He's got that ultra quick release. His off ball movement. 400 plus points as a pro. Williams against Rex Road. Zed posting up, bounce shot score. How are you gonna stop this tank? I mean, this guy, he's got his mind on getting to the middle of the field where his angle is really good on the goalie, dealing with contact from a very, very strong defender.
and he won't be denied. At some point, the Atlas is going to have to send the cavalry and double team. But how do you slide to that? I mean, it, it's not like he cleanly beats Rex Road. So if you slide to him, are you creating offense and leaving somebody like a Manny open off ball? But if you just stick with this matchup, he's got the physicality just to shoot through him. I think if you can see the name on his back and you think he's going to roll, that's a good time to double team. He wasn't even bothered by the contact. It no, might have, no, no. might as well have been water. Now, Quint, you mentioned earlier Zed Williams from the Seneca tribe. When you hear the stories of the indigenous players, oftentimes they talk about growing up. They played as nine, 10, 11 year olds against men, men in their 20s. Baptiste skirts that one wide. They took big hits. They had to learn how to be a talented young baseball player. Uh, Romar could steal bases. He could hit home runs. Baseball bored him to death, <laughs> and he wanted to play lacrosse. Roberto is his biggest fan, and Romar is making a name for himself in this sport. Baptiste trying to chase this one down, and Teat able to save the possession. Peter Dirth now. Dirth shoots on the run, 11 goals already. The book on Ken Cannon continues to be shoot from the outside. He, he's a big, really athletic goalie, instinctual and reactive from the inside, has maybe more vulnerability from the outside. I think Dordovic just caught a break. Yeah, it, it actually hit Makar's stick. I was reviewing it over here on the side. Hit Makar's stick, then hit the turf. Now Costa Beal falling down. Eric Law has the backup. Has to be a little slow to get up. Same principles apply. Baptiste and LaSala. Less than 10 seconds to go. Face-off violation on Baptiste. Williams slips. Two seconds. He's got to shoot it. Misses the cage. In quarter. Did not play last week. No Trevor Baptiste here for this second quarter faceoff for Atlas. He violated on the last faceoff, and Petey LaSala had it momentarily, able to corral it. And now with the new rule, Whipsnakes have a 32-second shot clock. A chance for two. Nifty play like there that. by LaSala. I like that. I like the defender who fools so easy. Super, super quick with his feet, and that leads to that shot on the run he was a finalist in his final season in college for the Tawartan award at 65 goals tied for first in division one from portland oregon originally oregon turning into a lacrosse hotbed chance here for chet Camizio, 57 in blue he was added to the active roster with pellety surface cork yeah corky and, and so corky not corky uh, we've seen some players struggle with changes of direction. Under the helmet is powered by Cash App. Lasala has won 8 out of, out of 14 so far. Baptiste, 6 out of 12. Listen to Trevor Baptiste. That was a vicious hook, wasn't it? Yeah. Gosh. Trevor's big. Let's listen to Trevor Baptiste. That was a vicious hook, wasn't it? Yeah. Gosh. Trevor's being quiet. Oh, now that was not quiet. Dennis hits LaSala, who is down. Flag down as well.
Fouls on Atlas, number five. One minute cross, check that plays under review. This game's not for the faint of heart. You, you better have that mouthpiece in, the chin strap buckled. These are big men moving at fast speeds. Romar Dennis is 6'5", 230. He is an Amtrak when he hits you. That's that using shoulder, of the shoulder, shoulder or upper arm, Ryan. I think it's clean. Shoulder to shoulder. I think it's actually not this hit, but then if you stay with the play, Dennis chases it down. Let it roll here if we can. Right there. there that's is what they got. A two minute non releasable. Again, in college football, that's a game ejection. I, I think that's where the. This is going to take the face off while Petey LaSala is still in the tent being treated to. Well, thank you, Katie. Yeah, LaSala took. A big hit there from Dennis. Squires, another Oregon native, West Lynn, Oregon. Suddenly, Dordovic's playing like the rookie of the year. And no doubt. You, you took the words out of my mouth. And a really good class, a stacked class. He was my dark horse pick. I mean, number six pick overall, so I don't know how much a dark horse <laughs> you get, you know. Little big fan of the. Italian style family dinners tomorrow Sunday. He gets to feast. He gets a little extra meat on top after that goal. Final ticks, first half. Saladay dumps it toward the cage. It's deflected. And half number one comes to an end. We've got a good one. Probably the power play, the penalty situation. If I'm Atlas, I'm, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Like we had two two minute non releasable penalties, and we're only down one. You know, they, they had to say, hey, just stay in the penalty box and we'll be okay. Petey LaSala back at the faceoff X. Katie, that's a good sign for whips. Yeah, it really is. You know, after taking that check to the chest from Romar Dennis, he was evaluated and cleared. He told me as he was walking out onto the field, yeah, yeah, I'm good. And as you guys mentioned in the first half, he is tough as nails. He certainly is one of the best to ever do it. 30 plus career goals. Squats like 625 college. pounds or something, something insane. Here comes Baptiste. MVP of the league a season ago. Now Jeff Teat, former PLO rookie. Hander played at Syracuse alongside Dordovic. They were on the same midfield line along with Jamie Trimboli for years. At Syracuse, Curry was dubbed the hangry chef. Had a little bagel shop he operated out of his apartment. Saw him before the game. I said, you still do bagels? He said, no, I'm in New York City now. Apartment's too small. My <laughs> oven can't handle it. He's a true entrepreneur. He, he gets his smarts from his mom. He gets In Charlotte, uh, there's a lot to like. And if you go to PLLVote.com, at the end of the year, the PLL will have each team associated with a city. You want Charlotte to have a city or a team, go out there and vote. Two things stand out to me. Growth in numbers. Boys high school across now, nearly 200 programs in North Carolina. We're seeing athletes from Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida. And the better, the big smile for the charismatic Curry. They give him basically half the field to operate. And so he's got a two-way go there. His right hand is his strong hand. I think he pushed it, took it away, and he shows you his versatility. Face off won by Atlas. Now when you win it back, not a lot of time, only 32 seconds, and they were rushed. But that ball was tipped, so it will stay with Atlas. 26 seconds. Have the ball much in that third quarter. Yeah, and when they had it, they didn't take care of it. Six turnovers in that quarter alone. Jack and Cannon with five saves for the Atlas. And if you listen to that Tucker Durkin piece, when they get to an island, flush it out. Meaning they've sent the double team quicker in that third quarter. Baptiste punched it out. And able to go back and recover it. Now here comes Baptiste. Charges toward the middle, fires on the run, and Law has the backup. That's a good strategy here in East with a short shot clock. You get a stoppage. Look how slow that ball That's was right. walked into play. Yeah, missed shot. Obviously, Baptiste with by Dirk, and he's in good position. It sticks in the numbers. Just an amazing shot by Rambo. First goal of the second half for Whipsnakes. It ends a drought of more than 16 minutes. And how about this battle? Go this way. 
Go this way. That way. Yep, yep, yep. Where should I go, Trev? Thank you. Baptiste, the savvy vet, punches it out to Camizio. Now, Atlas again dressing Camizio today. Katie had the four goals for Rambo, who may have just broken the B button. Out of the wrath, it's Peter Durth. We remind you, Heat and Nuggets back in Denver, game five of the NBA Finals. LaSala, nine out of 22. Sterling, that was fucking early. Holy shit. Whip Snakes don't have any timeouts. It's still loose, under 10 seconds. And we get a whistle, loose ball push, Atlas ball. And Baptiste is slow to get up, and yet they, I think it was Petey LaSala that pushed from behind that loose ball infraction. These guys are warriors, man. They have gone at it on a hot summer day in the sun, back and forth. Baptiste, 15 out of 23 at the faceoff X, wins the last one. And for the first time, Atlas have defeated Whip Snakes in the five-year history of the PLL. First career victory for Mike Bressler as head coach. And for that to come against the Whip Snakes, what a notch in your back.